All right. Hey, what's going on, everybody? And welcome back. Today, we're going to be doing some things in Rust that a uh, game that I've been playing around with. And uh, this is going to be how to set up an automatic sorting system for all the loot you can get. Uh, makes it easy and great for if you're with a group of people or great if you're single playing or playing solo. Either way, it's going to be, it it's, works really, really well. And then from there, we'll continue on that and uh, build on that. Uh, uh, being able to do something else besides just sorting. So let's get going. I already set up a little bit of stuff here. Um, this would be basically like your, you know, uh, a normal um, entrance. And then you have a bunch of boxes here. Okay, so this is a basic mock-up or you can basically have your loot boxes anywhere in your base, but this is just for demonstration purposes and this is what we're gonna be doing here. All right, so what we're gonna be needing is gonna be needing a few things. I'll put that away there. Uh, we will need our tools. Uh, we'll need our wiring tool. We'll need our pipe tool. And we're gonna need a few modules here. Uh, we'll probably swap some of this stuff back and forth as we, as we need it. Now we're gonna be using that for a moment, so we'll just move that over there. Okay, so there's gonna be a two things uh, you can do. Uh, you have what's called a drop box, which that's what this would be. So we'll, uh, here, let's just make a little sign. And uh, yeah, small wooden sign would be great. Okay, so this here is what we know as a drop box. So let's go ahead and put that in there. Okay. Dropbox. There we go. So what the idea is, is that you can have your doors open. You know, someone still can't get in your base, but you can still access this box and drop all your loot in there. So that's the, uh, that's the idea of what's called a drop box, just inside your inlock. Uh, and it's gonna be used to drop all your loot in. And then from there, it'll actually be transferred to all these other boxes that we see here. Now the next thing you're going to have, well, you're going to have what's called an in and out box. Um, what an in and out box is, is uh, basically a box that you set up that where all your loot would go into and anything you create would go into. And then from there it gets sorted back out. So we're going to create, we're going to have an in and out box. Let's go ahead and put a label right there. All right, uh, this would be our in and out box yeah there we go <laughs> kind of goofy but hey it works okay so from now what we're going to be doing is we're actually going to be sorting some things out so we'll need a um, this is a storage adapter you'll need to put one of those on your main on the box coming in and basically on every other box you can you, you are going to be using. All right, so we're going to be doing that. Let's go ahead and add all those. I got quite a few boxes here set up. You know, you can add more if you want or, you know, however. But for now, we're just going to set up those. Okay, so now we need a, what's called a conveyor. In order to transfer anything from one box to another, you need a conveyor. So we're going to have a conveyor. All right, so we can just set that up. Oh, anywhere, it doesn't really matter. Um, sure, we can just set it up right here, be fine. Okay, so there we go. Now, so for what we have is from the output of this box, output of the industrial adapter, storage adapter, to the input of this command. As far as your filter, you don't need a filter because what you want to do is you want to transfer everything out of this box into what's called an in and out box. So now, let's just go ahead and get that, uh, yeah. going around corners is such a pain in the rear for this, for this stuff. All right, well, there we go. So now we're going to transfer all our loot into what's called the in and out box, or your, uh, this is your main box that you're going to be sorting things from. Okay, so from there, we're gonna start transferring everything into these individual boxes separately according to its category. So you have what's called a basic set of, of uh, uh, categories. And you can find all those categories simply by looking here. 
on your, in your uh, inventory under uh, our under your build menu. You have construction, you have resources, you have clothing, tools, medical, weapons, ammo, traps, electrical, fun, <laughs> and other. And there's also a couple of the ones that you don't uh, not uh, listed. Uh, one is components. And the other is food. All right. So now we're going to start setting up some conveyors. All right. So we're going to drop one basically pretty much above everything right here. All right. We want to get all the basics covered before we move on to anything else. All right, so we'll drop that up there, that'd be fine. Okay, so. Now you're thinking, well, I've only got one output here. How am I gonna link up to all these different conveyors? Well, that's when we use this. It's an industrial splitter, okay. So, with the industrial splitter, it allows you to continue your, uh, your basically your output and have multiple, multiple things. Okay, so now we have a splitter. Now you have what's called a output one, two, and three on your splitter. Now your priority is one is the highest priority, two is the next, and then three is your last. So anytime you want to split, keep splitting this all the way down the line, you want to use, always use the output one to your input of your splitter. And I'll show you what I mean. And then your splitter will actually split for two conveyors. So we're gonna need a splitter for every two conveyors. So we'll go over here and we're gonna add another splitter right here. Okay, go here, add another splitter. We'll go here, add another splitter. Go here, another splitter. We'll go here and add another splitter. Okay. So this is going to get the basic. And so now what we'll do is we'll go from output one to the input. 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 See that? And that way every everything has the highest priority coming in. Okay, so for this first one, we're going to go from the output two to the input. And now we need to set our filter. Okay, our first filter is gonna be our resources. So we'll just type in RES. And you'll have what's this, this, this blueprint here. When you click on it, it'll say BP resources. And we're gonna to wanna to add that. Anything that's considered a resource. Uh, and now it's things like wood metal ore, metal frags, high quality metal, uh, high quality um, uh, ore, sulfur, sulfur ore. It covers a huge variety of stuff, okay? And then we're gonna hit apply. And then that is gonna go to the input of, the first, of that box. And this is basically where all your resources are gonna come in. And you can extend this further by simply adding more boxes. And that's what I mean. You place another box here, put another storage adapter. You go from the output of this to the input of the next box. And you can continue this path, so on and so forth, until you figure that, hey, I need, you know, five boxes of, of resources, or, you know, a couple boxes of resources, or however many boxes you want. That's how many resource, that, and that's how you can extend the amount of space or storage space you have available to you. Very simple. All right, so the next one, we're gonna go from the output of three to the input here. Okay, let's get our, and this one can be, uh, we'll just call it con uh, components. So C-O-M-P or C-O-M gives us components, okay? 
And again, it's gonna be a, it's a category blueprint. And we're gonna hit add and apply. So all, and then we'll have that going out to our box. So that means all the type of components you're gonna get. Uh, that would be like, you know, um, here I can show you. That'd be like, you know, blades, uh, gears, pipes, uh, propane tanks, road signs, sewing kits, metal springs. Uh, let's see, I think tech trash is in there too. The so it covers quite a bit, it's quite a bit of of, uh, of things. So that would be your component box. Okay, so next, okay, we're going to change our filter here. Oh, we got to go out. Number two to the input and change our filter. This filter is going to be construction. Okay, so we'll get our basic stuff and be construction. All right, hit apply. And then the output goes to the input of the box. All right, so next we'll do the next one. So anything that consists of construction items, uh, walls. Uh, let's see, construction, yeah, any of this stuff here. Walls, you know, gates, doors, uh, any of this stuff will be, be put into your construction box, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so this is gonna be, uh, let's see, what was this one? Okay, this was construction. So next would be clothing. Okay, so we'll type in clothing, see C O L. Oops, I can spell right. There it is, clothing. Okay, we're gonna add that and apply. I'll put on that, goes to this box. So that means any type of clothing will go in this box. All right, let's do the next one. Okay, input, output to input of the, uh, the conveyor, change the filter, and then this one, let's see, where are we at? Uh, this one will be tools, okay? So we're gonna type in tools. There we go. So anything that's associated with a tool will be in this box. All right, and we'll go from the output of three, to the input here, we'll change our filter. All right, and let's see, after tools uh, comes medical. Okay, so we'll do medical. MED, there it is, medical. Right, we'll hit add that and hit apply. Okay, and the output of that goes to the box. So this is gonna be your medical box. Okay, so now we go to the next one. All right, and what's the next one here? We got uh, weapons, okay. So we'll go out, put a two. The input here changes to weapons, all right, and add. So anything that has to do with a weapon, we'll go into this box here now, all right. Go to the next one. All right, and we'll change our filter. Let's see, what is next? Uh, ammo's next, okay. So we'll, tie, we'll have ammo. There it is. All right. Add that. Hit apply and output to the input of this conveyor. Uh, storage adapter. All right. So you kind of get to see how things are going to get sorted by category first. All right. So let's go ahead and do the next one. Uh, see, next on the list will be traps. So we'll do that and change our filter. There we go, traps right there. And we'll apply. Now you can think you can add combine stuff together if you want to. Like, you know, you probably don't need a whole box of traps, but you could probably combine your traps and say your construction items. Uh, you could probably combine that box. But for now, we're just gonna have a whole box itself to, of called for traps. Okay, so the next one is electrical. So we'll go to the output of that, the input here, change our filter. There it is, electrical. So anything that has to do with electricity will be added to here, added to this box. All right, so next one. Um, 
I don't think there's really a fun one, but uh, we go check that out. Uh, but definitely do other. All right. Okay, so you always want to leave your output one open in case you want to expand some more. So we'll go to output two. And we'll change this to other. Like, I don't know if there's fun. Yeah, there actually is a fun category. So <laughs> if you want to add that, you sure can. But uh, for this, I'm going to skip it and go with other. We're going to have add and output to the input there. All right, so this box is going to have everything for the other category, which will be included your keys, your uh, blue and blue cards, or your cards that you uh, get, um, any of the items that you find, uh, you know, all the different things like that. Anything that's not covered under the other categories is going to be that way. All right, so then the last one, output, the input, and we're going to change this to food. So all food items will automatically go into this fridge. All right. Pretty simple so far. Not too complicated. It made this as painless as possible, hopefully. All right. So now, now that we have all that in, we just need to wire it all up. So we'll take our electrical tool. And this is basically a a mock-up of, you know, hey, you got power coming in, and then you have, you know, wherever your power's coming in at. It doesn't really matter, just wherever. Okay. So, what's nice about this is, for one, we're going to clear that out. Go up. All right. And this is, has what's called a pass-through. So, we could do the power input, and then we go through the power electrical pass-through, to the next input, pass through, 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 input. Pass through, input, pass through, and then finally all the way over here. Input. Okay, so now we can go ahead and turn on all of our conveyors. There we go. Okay, so there's one other thing that I didn't add. And that is on the input of this box, we will need a combiner. So we'll just go ahead and add that. So what we'll do is we'll, on the input of this, go ahead and remove that. The output of the combiner goes to the input here. And then we have input one. There we go, and that goes to the out to the uh, conveyor there, that initial conveyor. So the only thing we added to this line was just we have this com uh, combiner, and that's going to give us a lot more inputs on this. Uh, oops, I'm sorry, I messed it up there. This will be on number two, not number one. So let's change that, change that up again. Going around these corners, sometimes it's a real pain in the butt. There we go. All right, there we go. That looks a little bit better. So we have coming on number two. So if we need to expand, we'll go from the output to the input of number one. All right. So now this will do your, this will basically, um, this is your basic sorting setup. It's real, you know, it makes it nice. You can literally drop everything in your box. So here, let's just grab a bunch of junk, you know, we'll just craft a few things here and uh, yeah, we'll craft some of that. Here we go, some of that works good. Some gunpowder, sure, why not here? We'll, we'll craft a few ammo. Uh, here, how about some tools? Yeah, tools, sure, why not? Even a C4. There, we'll do some clothing. There we go, 
do that. I want a couple of these. There we go. All right, so you just got back from looting, you know, whatever. You literally just drop everything in this box. You'll see it all disappear. So now it's transferring all that to the what's called the in and output box. So that transfers all over to here. Okay, from there, it gets sorted out to different items. Now, if you have uh, items that, that don't move out, then that means it's on what's called the items category. These don't actually have an actual blueprint uh, location. So you, and there's actually no filter for them. Now, you could probably do, maybe do an adding a manual filter. We'll see. Uh, how about a large uh, box? Yeah, see. I don't think there's any type of. Let's see, this is a large wooden box. So if we type in the filter for it, uh, large. So, large, here we go. You'd have to separate it by actual different individual items. But there's no base category for just items. All right, so let's go back to the filter. If you type in items, there is no base category for it. So you can, you will be able to put these into different boxes, but you're gonna actually have to add the filter manually. So like this is a, what, construction right here? Yep. So we'd have to add, you know, like a large wooden box here. Uh, Okay, so we'll add the uh, large wooden box. Here's the uh, large sign. Uh, it's not refrigerator, what is it? Oh, fridge. There it is, fridge. And then small wooden side. There we go, small wooden side. And then that way your your boxes will be your box will be empty. There it goes, it disappeared now. Okay, so then that literally sorts out everything that you have. So you just stick it all in one box and it sorts it to its proper category. Electrical items, anything that's other, other items. And then eventually, you know, this will be ready for your, all your food and stuff. So that's, that's your basics sorting that up. You do it by categories and then from there we can do some more advanced stuff to it. Alrighty folks, well hey, I do appreciate everybody enjoying coming out and watching this for me. And we'll do continue this on the next video on how to do things more with just with just by just sorting it out. Alrighty, well Appreciate it, everybody. Until next time, take care of yourselves and each other. Bye-bye for now.